All right, everybody, welcome back to Expedition Northwest Passage. Let's keep exploring. Okay, so we're starting the second round. Jen is now first, and, um, you know, well, she could start moving up into my tiles, but I think instead her first action is going to be to draw another tile. Let's see here. And no, she's already got a straight, so if she grabs this, she could try to monopolize straights and prevent me from getting any. So with that, she'll go ahead and grab that, and that was her first action. And a new tile comes out. Here you. And oh, there's another straight, though. Okay. And so now it is my turn. And I think I'm going to grab a tile, too, but I'm going to do something a little bit different. Now, so far we've only taken these. I'm going to take one of these little ones up here. I will grab... Oh, I, actually, for my purposes, it doesn't really matter which one I grab. I'll go on ahead and grab um, this one, one of these. All right. So that was my turn. Now it's Jen's turn. And since I left that straight, I think she's just going to really try and gobble up all the straights um, because you know she wants to ensure that she's going to have that 11-point um, lead. And you know if, if she prevents me from ever getting a straight, because who knows, maybe we we'll, won't see me any more straights, I won't even get second place at five. So that could be a really big deal for her. To score 11 and me score nothing. Let's see what else comes out. Bad luck for her, another straight. Oh, all right. So anyway, now it's my turn. Now, uh, so I could grab that straight, but honestly, I, at this point, I'm not even paying attention to that. I'm going to do something completely different. I'm going to discover another land. So you can spend a guy to put it. I'm going to put this little one down, and I'm going to put it right here. And you can see that is illegal. It lines up. Right, and now here's the interesting thing. Whenever somebody places a tile such that you end up with a, a one by one space completely surrounded, which this is now surrounded, it automatically gets filled in with an appropriate piece from over here. So that means this thing automatically comes out. Let's see, and that would be, there we go. So that automatically happened. And so by placing this tile, this one got placed automatically for me for free. And I have now successfully explored an entire island. So I get one of these little ex, you know, uh, explore markers. And how many tiles is this? This is one, two, three, four, five. This is made of five tiles, which is worth three points. One, two, three. Nice. OK. So that was that. And now it's Jen's turn again. And you know what? This might be a little insane. She's going to grab this one, too. She's preventing... She is taking all of the straights. She will discover every straight in the Arctic Ocean. And this one came out with nothing. Oh, and this is exactly what I needed to fill up the space originally. But I got more points by using two tiles instead of one, although it took me more time. Okay. So that new one came out. So that was Jen's turn. Now it's my turn again. Okay. Uh, now I could spend two guys and pick up this Karen, but that's only worth um, two points. Do I want to do that? Do I want to spend more time? Because the, you know, I really want to start getting moving before winter moves in. I want to get my ship further. So I think I'm going to leave this Karen behind and I'm going to spend one guy and start pushing forward. Let's see here. So I will place, ah, but I don't really have good tiles for that. So I'll spend one guy and I'm going to grab another tile. In fact, it will be this one. And then a new one comes out. All righty. And so Jen, Let's see, she already has enough. She is going to go on ahead and spend a guy and place a tile on the board. She'll do something like that. All right, and then there's a new straight to find. Okay. And now that you notice this straight is in, has crossed over the line. It's in the second half. So straights found in the first half were worth one point, but this straight is worth two points. Okay. So Jen found that. Now it's uh, my turn again. And so I am also going to expand. Let's see here. Now, how do I want to do this? So I could do something like this, let's say, and that would be legal. And I'm, you know, kind of coming back down to Jen's area. Although it's interesting, if I do this, oh, if I do this, and I can, I can look see what Jen has. This is actually really cool because what I can do is if I if I place this like this eventually, and then I have another little one and put it here, then I'll get an, another automatic you know completion, and that'll be a three, which will only be one point. Hmm, do I want to do that or do I want to keep moving? Let's see, because instead I could just go ahead and slap it down like this. Either way, there's going to be a Franklin site on it. So I guess I'll just go ahead and spread it like this so I can start trying to move further. Although unfortunately, this Frank no, this Franklin site is in the 2x, so it'll be worth more points. So I put that there like that. And so now Jen is going to move. Okay. And so it's my turn, and I am also going to move. And so we are both racing neck and neck towards north, although Jen is clearly closer. And um, 
So now it's Jen's turn. She's got two more. She needs three guys to explore that straight, so she can't do it. So I think instead she will place another tile and she'll put it like this, let's say, or she could do something like that. So, right, okay, and then there's another straight. Okay, and so now it's my turn, and, oh, hmm, no, not really. Okay, so what am I going to do? I don't really have very good tiles for continuing to spread west. This is kind of a problem. Um, I think, I think I will, let's see, and there's, and because what I'd like to do, I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to start moving south if I want to keep sailing because the freeze is coming. So I would like to start sailing south, but you know I'm, I'm limited by what I can connect to. Now I could do, see, I could do, no I can't because Jen just put this here, so that's kind of cut me off. I can't do that, which I would have been able to do prior before Jen put that there. And yeah, there's neither of those tiles can really be placed in any kind of useful way. I mean, I could do something like this, but that's not really getting me very far west. Um, Let's see, I could do this though. That's interesting. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. And another Karen. All right. And so, and then Jen will just go on ahead and move now. She's going to leave this straight behind. She's just going to jump straight over here. Because um, there's a straight, because she doesn't have enough time. She just wants to keep moving. She wants to stay ahead of me. All right. So that was her turn. And now I've still got two more dudes. Interesting. And Jen can't go anymore. And there's no, I might as well use all my dudes now because, you know, Jen is going, on her next turn, she's going to pass. And so she's going to be first, unless I pass right now. If I want, I could pass right now to go first, but that doesn't make much sense. But I'm wondering, is there anything I can do? See, it's a shame. Um, there's no good two-piecer that would let me put something right here and finish this island because I'm touching it. But, yeah, there's nothing really that would work for that at the moment. So I could move forward, and then I could go on ahead, let's see, can I, and yeah, begin, because of the way Jen's placed this tile, my current, the tile I've got won't let me get down south, but I could just keep going west, and I could do something, say, like, ugh, yeah, that's a real unfortunate thing. Jen has totally kind of cut me off there, so I could just make some more solid land. But now I've kind of cut myself off. I have to find a way to go south. Although, and I can't even get to this. Although actually I can. It's interesting. Now that would be. Hmm, okay, maybe I will do that. What the heck? I will do that. So I spent a guy doing that. Okay. And so now Jen, uh, she can't do anything, so she's gonna pass. So she will still hold on to first place. And now I. Hmm, this is kind of dangerous. So I've got no more tiles. And I really can't move any further. But here's an interesting thing I could do. I could bust out the sled now. Because, you know, and my ship could continue going, and I could leave my sled to kind of explore this landmass, and it could even explore further north and south and stuff like that. So I think I'm going to do it. My last guy, I am going to use him to do the split my crew up. So now I can take any number of crew, whether they're rested or, um, or not, and split them and put them onto the sled. So let's see, maybe if I put four of these guys onto the sled and leave three on my ship, and then I put my sled, now my sled could either go on this landmass, because it's basically going to go on one of the landmasses on the top, but I'm going to put it over here because it's going to be able to pick up this Cairn and this um, Inuit over there. All right, but let's see. Now how do I want to split my crew? I mean, I could just make most of my crew explore the land, or I could keep most of them to explore the sea. Now I'm in a bit of trouble. This could, I could get completely cut off here by Jen. See, I can see what tile she's got, so she probably might do something like this. Although, I mean, I can just grab a little indip in individual piece, and I'll always be able to jump over to her line there. So, yeah, I think I will. I'll, no, I'll, I'll leave three to explore the land and four to explore the sea. Or maybe, well, no, the, 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 the winter's coming quick. So, right, which means I need to have more guys on my ship so that it can try and stay ahead of winter. So, okay, I'll, I'll do a 4-3 split, and I've gotten off, and I'll leave my sled behind to start exploring this landmass here. All right, and so, and then Jen's passed, and now I've passed, and so we're on to the next round. We're on to the third round. Everybody's good to go, including my two completely separate teams. All right, and Jen is first. Now, I think first thing Jen will do, she will spend three of her seven guys to go on ahead and explore this straight. 
She found it in the second area, which means it's worth two points. So she has caught up to me in terms of points. And she definitely has the lead on these. I haven't gotten any, and she's gotten two. So unless I, and if I don't get one, if I get one, it'll be worth five points to me. If Jen keeps grabbing all of them as they pop up, I, that, that might be a really big swing. So that was Jen's first move. Okay, now it's my first move. Um, let's see. Now, I, I need to make sure. Now, are there any tiles I can see? I could do something like this. That would be interesting. Nope, that would not be legal because that doesn't line up. Um, but I would like to get that Inuit. That Inuit. And yeah, so, all right, so I, and all the other tiles have no bonuses on them at all. But here's the thing, if I put a bonus tile down, Jen will be able to move into it first and grab it before I get it anyway. So I might as well not worry about that. Maybe I'll just go on ahead and grab this tile. Because then, yeah, that's going to be a good crossover. So I'm going to grab a tile. So, um, and it could have been my sled guys, or I'll have my sled guys, so I'll leave my guys open for my ship to move around. So that was my first move. And now Jen's next move is she'll go on ahead and play her next tile. Oh shoot, right, I had to remember she was going to play this tile, and I was grabbing this tile thinking I'd be able to just go on ahead and get across. But then, right, so maybe, hold on a second, before Jen does her next thing, because I know Jen's going to expand this. If she expands like this, Let's see, how would she expand? She'd probably play it like this or like this. Either way, it's going to create solid ocean right there, which means I won't be able to expand down. And so, should I, before Jen went, knowing that Jen is probably going to put a tile here, should I have grabbed this crossover one or should I have grabbed something else? Because I could have grabbed, say, um, what? I could have grabbed this. And then I know, uh, you know when Jen puts a tile here, I'll be able to sail down like this. So probably my first action was not to place, well, it was not to grab this tile. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Um, right. So I didn't grab uh, that tile, which would have been nice. Instead, I grabbed this tile. Okay. And so now Jen, her second action is she is going to place, as predicted. She'll just go on ahead and slap it down like that. And she has found another straight. And now this straight is in the three section, so it's going to be worth more points. And now it's my turn. And, um, yeah. So, there we go. I will go on ahead and spend a guy. And I'll still spend my land guy so my ship can still move more. And put this down like this. And so I have bridged Jen's line and my line in a legal way. Now, um, these, these won't fill in, but say like if these three got filled in, then this and this would get filled in automatically. All right, so I have connected to Jen. All right, there we go. So that was my turn. Now it's Jen's turn. She will go on ahead and move. And it's interesting, Jen doesn't have enough guys to go on ahead and get this straight. And she's used up almost all her guys. And then I will go on ahead and, hmm... Oh, shoot. You know what? Earlier, instead of having used this guy to, to grab the tile, I used this guy, let's say. So now I'm going to have this guy move down. So I'm coming down here to join up with Jen. And Jen is going to, I think she's going to grab another tile. Let's see here. What does she want to grab? Uh, she'll grab, she'll grab this uh, Inuit that I had hoped to grab earlier. And oh, another straight. And you know what? I think I'd better grab that straight while the grabbing's good, because I've caught on to the fact that Jen has been monopolizing him, so boom. I've guaranteed, if I, and now if I place this in such a way that I can get to it without Jen getting to it first, I'll at least come in second place since Jen's in the lead on these. All right. So, and another, oh, no bonuses on any of those tiles. And remember, one thing you can always do, you can spend two guys to wipe them all out and take one if you, you want to have first dibs on something that comes out. All right, so I grabbed it now. This is Jen's last action. And, um, right, she can't grab that straight. I guess for her last action, she will go on ahead and um, place this last tile. And she'll place it thusly. And so here is an Inuit. All right. And so now it's my turn. And I will go on ahead. And I will move down into her area. And now Jen is done, so she will pass. So once again, she's gonna, she'll get first dibs on this. Although it's interesting. If she, if she, uh, her first action is to grab this, then my first action would be to move down here and grab that um, Inuit before she does. So things have just gotten interesting, and I've kind of pulled... Well, we'll see what happens. All right. So, and Jen's passed. Now, I've still got, I got, still got my bobsled guys. 
Hi, guys, who've been left behind. So I can spend these two, and I can pick up this cairn. And this cairn is worth four points because it was in region two, and so I just made four more points. One, two, three, four. Okay. And so, and Jen's passed, and now all my guys are done, so I pass, and we're ready to move on. And now, boom, we have frozen. Oh, shoot. Wow. Okay, I did not plan very well here at all. Here's the problem. As you can see, this is the line. Both of our ships are above the line. They're both frozen. My ship cannot move at all anymore. And because of that, all four of these guys are just going to sit around with nothing to do because I left most of my guys. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now, if I had thought for like half a second, um, let's say you know, previously I had actually kept five guys on my boat and I'd only had two over here, that means that they... Um, Right. Though well, that just means all my guys uh, did explore. And these two guys who I left behind, the only thing they did was cover that cairn. Let's say I had been smart enough to do that. And so, my, but still, and that means, oh my gosh, even still, because uh, I used these guys to get tiles so I can move down here and place those tiles. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. That is a big problem because I'm going to be stuck. Jen, she can now... Um, you know, she's here, she can deploy her sled onto this land and she can keep going, but my ship is stuck because I did not pay attention to that. I did not get south far enough, fast enough. Hmm, boy. Now, if I had only left one guy on the sled, then I, with only one guy, I wouldn't be able to pick up any of these things because you need at least two guys to pick up Inuits or, um, wow. Now, on the flip side, if I left all my guys on my sled, then, hey, they could start coming down here as well. But I have critically, I have, I have made a critical, critical error. I did not pay attention to that. And, you know, I mean, that's the thing. I mean, this game, you really do have to stay on top of stuff. I have completely incapacitated myself now. My ship isn't going to be able to move. These five guys, and my, my um, although what can happen... Well, we'll just live with it. I'll, I'll just live with what I had originally done. I'd put three over here, I'd put over here. And so these guys are stuck. Very bad choice. Let's see if I can recover. Oh, well, all right. So anyway, so everybody's resetting. It moves on. Both Jens and my ships are frozen. Okay, and Jen is first. Well, um, I think the first thing she is gonna do is she's gonna do the, she's gonna deploy her sled. And she'll go ahead and put it out here on this tile. And, and, you know, she can put it anywhere on the tile. Well, actually, you know what? Actually, I think the first thing she's going to do is she's going to spend three, and she's going to get this straight bonus. Might as well. Okay. And so now, my first action is... So I'm going to have to move my sled. The sled that I left behind, I'm going to have to spend a guy and move it down here. I basically have to have my sled come back down here, which means I'm going to leave this Inuit. Oh, I'm just feeling so... So silly. Well, actually, no, you know, I'm not going to do that. I am going to move my sled over here. All right, that was my first action. And so now it's Jen's turn. She is going to um, deploy her sled. She's spending one guy, and now she'll put the rest of her three guys and all these guys. What the heck? She's going to put everybody on the sled. Is she? Yeah. Okay, she's just putting everybody on the sled. She is leaving her frozen ship behind, and she is deploying the sled here now. All right, so that was Jen's action. She's still got three more actions. And now my action is I'm going to spend... Um, my two guys on the sled to get this Inuit, which was in area three. And so that was six points to me. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's pretty nice. Okay, and now if I can get a Franklin site and a uh, what's it, I can actually get a full set, which is worth six bonus points. All right, so that's my turn. Now it's Jen's turn. She's got her sled deployed. She's got three guys who can work on her sled. Everybody else is exhausted. Um, but her sled cannot go south because this water here is below the sun line, so this isn't frozen. But, you know, once this moves down here, this sled can happily move along all of this stuff. So, I think Jen is going to use a guy to start collecting tiles so she can build the rest of the line. Um, in fact, I think, you know what, I th since there's no bonuses here, she's going to use two guys to clear all these out. She's not happy about any of them. And she's going to draw four new ones and hopefully get a bonus. One, two, 
two, three, four. Yep, and all right, so nice. Two Inuits, a Franklin site, and a straight. And since she paid two, she gets to take any of these she wants. Um, let's see. I think she'll go on ahead and grab this straight. Now, how would she be able to expand this? So she could expand it like, no. Hmm. She could do something like that. Yeah, that's pretty, okay, yeah, she'll take this. All right, so she took that. And she's still got one more guy. And now I've still got my three guys on my boat. And so, now they can't move, but they can still draw and place tiles if I want to. And now that's interesting. I think um, I will have a guy draw, oops, and a new tile came out after Jen grabbed one. A total solid one. I'll grab this one. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And so now Jen, she will... She's got one more guy, and so she, oh, she'll use it to grab another tile. And, yeah, see, she has not gotten any Inuits yet, and she wants to get a full set, so, she can get, so she'll grab, what, this one? Let's see, now she's got to start thinking. She's planning on placing this here, and then she wants to place something there. So something like, would this work? Hmm, no. No. And now this is a big part of what you often, as the game goes on, you find yourself doing a lot of this. So I'm saying, well, will this one will fit? All right. No. No. Oh, what she could do, yeah, you know what? She's not going to take any of those. She's just going to take a nice simple one because this will get the rest of the way. And that will line up appropriately. So she grabbed that tile. All right. And so she's about to pass. Now, if I want, I could pass. And that means I would get to go first next turn. Um... Or I could keep collecting more tiles. Let's see here. But see, here's the problem. I'm going to have to spend time having my sled come down here to rejoin me so that I could transport. I think because of this goof I've made, I have lost any chance of getting first in Northwest Passage. Jen is definitely going to beat me there. There's no two ways about it. She's set up. She's ready to go. All her guys are on her sled. So I don't think I'm in particular rush to try and beat her there, so I will go on ahead and keep spending my guys to collect some more tiles and place some tiles. Oh, actually, I'm going to place a tile right now. I'm going to this tile I picked. I'm going to place it right there. That is legal. Everything lines up right. And look at that. I've just completed an island. It's one, two, three. So that is a point. And let's see. We have to put another straight here. And I have gotten another one of these. And currently, I've got two islands to Gen's one. That's a four-point lead to me if I can have the most um, navigation tokens at the end of the game. Okay, so that was that. Jen's going to pass now. And I've still got two more actions, which I can still use. Oh, but here's the problem, actually. I'm sorry. On the last, I could not put this here because I can, since it's guys, oh, no, it is guys who are on my boat. So, yeah, I can. That was cool. So I could place this, anything touching this tile that I'm on. So I could do something... Let's see here, out of the way, sled. I could do, let's see, is, could, would this be legal at all? Nope, that would not be legal. Yeah, so I can't place a tile there. So I will go on ahead and grab another tile. Hmm, I guess, um, And really, what I, since Jen's going to rush ahead and she's going to grab this 10, I need to be grabbing tiles that are going to work well for me to basically kind of be in this three-point area, just going around gobbling up points like crazy. So I think I will grab, let's see, I know, so I want a tile that's legal. Like, would this one be legal to place? Nope, that one's not legal to place either. Gosh darn it. Ah, that's a tough thing, a tough space to fit because of this and this. I need a little, right, I mean, I could just go on ahead and grab... You know, this, that would be, but, you know, there's not going to be any points on that. Hmm. Let's see. But, I am, um, so I can be using my, these, these guys who are on the boat, basically to lay more tiles, because I can lay tiles off of, you know, well, I've laid one here, so I can lay tiles off of this space and this space before my guys are done. And if I can do it in such a way that my, my, um, guy can, my, my three guys on the sled can move around here, I can at least be achieving something. But none of the tiles that are out are really going to work for me unless I just grab... Well, I will, I will go ahead and grab a little one so I can fill this connector spot. All right. And let's see. So Jen's already passed. I've got one more. I can grab another tile. So now I'm planning on putting this one here. 
And you know, this is the beginning of like a really big island that I could discover all by myself. Interestingly. Hmm. Let's see. So like if I got this and went up and got this Inuit and I'd be that close, that'd be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This could be well, I mean, they, they, um, once it's at six or more tiles, discovering an island can earn at max four points. So I don't know if that's really worth it, but still. So I've created this, and so now I could, because I'm gonna, when I'm going to plug this in, I've only, I haven't placed this yet. I've only, I'm just thinking about it. So this would be a legal place in my, yeah. So I, my last one, I'll take this tile. And then another one came out. And so Jen's already passed, and now I'm passing, and the round is over, and now everything is frozen. And Jen is first. Let's see, I forgot to put this Franklin tile over here. I think I've really, I'm, I'm trying to make the best of a bad situation, but by letting that ship, letting the uh, ice get ahead of my ship, I've really hurt myself. Anyway, so Jen's gonna go first. All her guys reset, all of my guys reset. She is going to go one and she's just going to move south because all of the water is frozen because it's below the freeze line. So that was Jen's move. So my move is now going to be, um, Let's see here. Oh, so complicated. Oh, actually, oh wow, look at I could do this. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah, okay, my first move is I'm gonna do that. And that could have come from either my ship or my sled. I'll have my ship have placed that there. And now my, sh my crew on the ship cannot place anything anymore. But we revealed another Inuit. All right, so Jen's turn. She'll spend two guys to say hello to this fellow. And so that just scored Jen six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that was Jen's uh, next move. And my next move, I will have my sled move down here. Okay, and then Jen is going to have her sled continue to move on. All right, so she's almost there to the tanner. And now my sled will um, get this Inuit, which is worth six more points. One, two, three, four, five, six. I really hope I'm pronouncing Inuit correctly. All right, so that was that. And now Jen, she's gonna have a guy Place this tile here. And now there is a rule. When you're um, placing tiles that connect to the Northwest Passage tile, you have to do it in such a way that it is still possible, it is still feasible, that there could be a water route. And so, um, you know, I have ensured that there could still be a water route. And this would actually kind of, if somebody was coming along the south here, they would be very limited in how they would place. They would pretty much, almost guaranteed, have to use one of these tiles so that they could um, you know, start to try and make a waterway because you, ha you can't place tiles that would make it impossible for a waterway to exist from Greenland in the Northwest Passage. So that's actually an interesting thing that Jen has just done there. So now it's my turn. All my sled guys are done. They can't move anymore. I really should. If I had left one more guy on the sled, it could have moved over here. Now all I've got is boat guys, but you know what? My boat guys can be picking up more tiles for me because the boat is landlocked. It can't place any more tiles, but let's see. What tile do I want? Hmm, da, 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 da. let's see, I think I'll go on ahead, I'm gonna, I could grab this and try to make a run on catching up with Jen to get, take that 11 point bonus from, away from her. So I think I will, I'll go ahead and grab this. So that took a guy and a new one comes out. And there's another Inuit. And so Jen, she is going to, slowly but surely, she's almost there, she's almost made it. All right, and so now it's my turn again. And I will collect another tile. Um, let's see here. Where, what tile do I want to collect now? This big island is getting very close. Uh, you know, uh, this, although no, there are no tiles that would let me fill to finish this. I would need a tile that kind of comes like that. And then this, yeah, so, hmm. Oh, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spend two guys, wipe all these. By the way, these should be going back in the bag and see what I can draw. One, two, three, four. All right, and boom, I've grabbed it. I've got three straights tiles. I can catch up with Jen on the straights and take that 11 point lead away from her. So that's really interesting. I still think I've lost because I've, uh, Although, you know, I mean, I have been making good use of my guys to do something. Even though they've been stuck here in the ice, they've still been able to do something. So it's not the end of the world. And now Jen's last turn, boom, she made it. And so she just scored 10 points. 20, all right, so she's caught up with all the points I had. Um, and now, hey, you know what? I am finished before her. I pass and she passes. So on the next round, I am the first player. Hooray. We stay in winter. 
And now Jen has an uh, interesting problem too. So this guy was able to move around freely all the way down here over all this water because it was frozen. Next round, all of this water is not going to be frozen anymore because, you know, the sun line will move up. So this guy has a chance of being stranded. Jen has to make sure she gets him all the way back above this frozen line during this round. Now, it's not going to be too hard. She needs one, two, three, four. Four of her seven guys will get her back. And, um, but does that mean, does she have enough time to stop and visit that Franklin site, which will require three? Yep, she'll just have enough. She'll do four for movement, three for picking that up. So Jen's whole turn this round is pretty much preordained. Um, but what am I going to do? Let's see here. Well, for starters, and now here's the other thing too. Because Jen had to move so far here, I could now focus on getting my guys back together and moving back sooner. Because if I'm the first person back to Greenland, I can make up for not having gotten that 10 by getting this 6. So maybe I'm not out of it after all. Oh my goodness, how exciting, folks. All right, so anyway, so I'm first. I've got three guys on my sled. And um, I think, for starters, I'm going to have my sled just move over here and rejoin my ship. So now I'll be able to get my guys back together <sighs> Although, actually, now this is interesting. Could I get to this Franklin site before Jen? But would I have enough time to get to it and get back? I would have to, let's see, I'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I can't do it. So I think that's, unless I place a tile here, and then it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I could do it if I even have a tile that's legal to place here. Which I don't. All my, none of my tiles can. So I, yeah, that Franklin site that's gone for me. I just need to think about. So I am going to move back over here so I can start consolidating my ship again. Although, since I'm over here, I could. Let's see. What could I do? No, that would not be legal. That would not be legal. Yeah, none of my tiles. None of all these straight tiles are legal with where I am. Although, actually, that's not entirely true. I could go. Let's see. Could I? No, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, maybe. Maybe this one. Nope. Ah. I imagine when you play the game more and you start to get more familiar with all the... Yeah, but as this... Yeah. I, I can't hang off the edge like that, as you might imagine. So, no, I can't. All right, so I'm just going to spend the one. I'm going to move him back over here, get my guys back together. Get the band back together. Okay. Although it's interesting. Um, I mean... Yeah, How, what am I going to do once they're together? I mean, I'm gonna, I can move all that ship, but my ship's not going to be able to move this round or next round because it's still stuck. It's not going to be able to move until we get way up here. So, actually, yeah, it's not a good idea. I, I really should spend some more time exploring. Oops, and a new tile. At least I should have gone back in the sack, Jack. And a new tile had come out. And there's another... Hmm. You know what? Actually, that's the only bonus one that's out? What the heck? I think I'll have spent my um, first guy not actually, right, no, I've already, right, not actually moving, but instead collecting the, the only bonus point tile that's on here. And a cairn comes out. Okay. Let's see. Because now I've got a Franklin. I mean, I, ooh, this is interesting as well. If I can find, if I find all three of these and I can find two Franklin sites, I can get two full sets. That's 12 points. So it isn't over yet. If I can get another, oh, I wish I could get to that Franklin site. But it's just, I don't, there's no way I can get there before Jen does. Because she has to go one, two, three, four, five, where I'd have to go one, two, three. So even though I'm ahead of her, I can't do it. Because so I'd go one, she'd go one. I'd go two, she'd go two. I'd go three, she would pick it up. So I can't get there in time. Yeah. So, so I picked up a tile. Um, did I pick up one that I can place now? Maybe? Yeah, I could. I could just go something like this. That would be interesting. Yeah. Okay, so I will place that tile there. Wait, no, no, I'm sorry. No, my first was just getting the tile. Okay. Now, Jen's first action, she's just got to move. She's going to have some simple moves for a while. My second action, which I will do from the sled, is to place this... Or how was it? Here. Oh, but there's a problem with that. Because um, to pick up... No, to get a, a, a two. I need two. So I only have two. I really should have left more guys on my sled. I've really messed this up. I left most guys on boat, and then I got my boat frozen. So that was poor planning on my part. So I could do this. There we go. All right, so let's go with that. 
So I place that. That was my um, first action there uh, from the sled. Okay. And so now Jen, her second action, very simple. She's just going to move. Now my third action, I'll move my sled over here. So I'll be able to pick this Franklin site up because um, I do have two more. So that's cool. Jen's third action, she'll spend one, two, three guys and grab this Franklin site, which is worth three points. One, two, three. And now Jen is in the lead. Okay. And, oh my goodness. All right. So now I will spend my two guys and pick up my Franklin site, which is also worth three. One, two, three. Okay. And um, I'm almost got a full set. And Jen has created a full set now. So she's got six bonus points. Okay. So that was her. Anyway, so now Jen, she's going to move again. Okay. And I've still got a bunch of actions, but they're all on my ship guys. All, the only thing my ship guys can do now is collect more tiles. And I already have a bunch of tiles to place. <sighs> and I can't place them anywhere. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and pass. I'm not going to use any of them. So I am first player next turn. And then Jen is going to move one more time. And she made it. She made it back. And so, at the, all right, so we move up. And all this is water again. And the guys just barely made it. Everybody resets. I am first. Okay. And now, hmm, by going off and chasing after this, I've really kind of screwed myself because, well, not necessarily. Neither of our ships can move yet. Not until next summer. If I get myself into position and then pass early, I can be the first to leave and head back to Greenland if I want to score those six points to make up for the 10-point deficit I got. But on the flip side, I can potentially get a six by, because I'm in a better position to get another set, unlike Jen, who really only has one of each of these other ones, because she focused so much. I, I've been collecting more stuff. Wow. Let's see here. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Another thing, no, no, I'm not going to do that. So, all right. So anyway, so we're first. I am first. My dog sleds, got, they got to come back over here now. So I, I wasted a lot of time going over there. So that was my action. Jen's first action. And now, now Jen is back, but her ship can't move. She's almost back too early. So she's got to ask, what can she do for the next few rounds with her guys to maximize? Because she could load them all on her boat, but then her boat isn't going to be able to move until the next round. She has no tiles, so I think she should probably start collecting some tiles. Although there's only one tile out that's worth any bonus points, this one, which cost her one guy, and then a new tile comes out, and it's that. So, all right, so now it's my turn, and I will move another guy back. Hello. All right. And so it's Jen's turn. And, yeah. What is she going to do? Now, what I really want more than anything else, I want to make sure I need to find... One more. Oh my gosh, look, there's a Franklin side up here. I totally forgot that I left that earlier. If I can make my plan once my ship unfreezes, it's unfortunate. I mean, I could almost get my dog sled all the way over here. Oh my gosh, yes, I can. Look at that. Because this is all frozen. I Instead of taking my sled, you know, one, two to here, I could have gone two, three, four. I could make it up to there. Wow, because this is frozen. I think that's what I'm doing. Wow. And then my ship will rendezvous. That's a really interesting twist. So let's say I'd gone that way. All right. And so, so Jen has just gotten a tile and now it's um, my, or it's her second turn. So she's going to do something else. Really about the only thing she can do right now, unless she wants to like place something. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think she could spend two and try to get another bonus tile. One, two. And wipe all these boring ones out and see if she could find something cool from the bag. One, two, three, four. Let's see what she found. A whole bunch of nothing. Wow. Need to shake this bag up a little bit more. I think I've got all the boring stuff on the top. So, and I guess Jen will take this other Karen as a bonus point, thereby revealing Another blank. There's nothing but blanks now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Where are you, Franklin? All right. So that was Jen's move. My next move will be to move my dog sled ever closer. Oh, but I don't have enough guys because they can't move. They need. To, I need one more move to move across this frozen, but they can't move anymore. So they're going to get stuck here. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. So what was it? Because I was here. I'd start here. I went one, two, three, and that's as far as I can get. So one, two, three. I mean, I could have gotten there. Shoot. 
Oh, well, you know what? I think hopefully you guys have a pretty good idea of what's happening right now. I know people hate it when I, you know, it looks like, I, you know, I'm at 40 minutes now. We've still got to both get back here. I think it's still a potential. Anybody's ready to score those six points. If I can get the, if I have enough time to get these two things discovered and searched, which will take a long time, I pick up two and I pick up this other Franklin site. I've got, um, well, Jen's got six points because she's got one set, but I could have two sets and I could take away this lead from her. And I've got leads on the other, but she's got the 10 points. And if she makes it back, I'd say this game is far from over, folks, even though I've been kind of playing dumbly on both sides. But I'm definitely going to stop there because I've really gotten myself into a bit of a mental pickle. So if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit the buttons on screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.